Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are building a fun project. We are going to learn how to build QR code generator with React.js. Many people might think that QR codes are something very difficult, but in reality they are very simple thing. And you're gonna see what actually they do and what is the purpose of them in this uh, tutorial. Uh, we're gonna learn how to uh, install a package called React QR code, and then we're gonna create this nice application where I can type my uh, URL. So I can say uh, www.youtube.com Kadri Media, and I can generate the QR code. And we can see the QR code right here. And now you're gonna see what happens when I open my phone camera and scan this with my camera. As you saw, it uh, directly opened the link in YouTube and that's the purpose of QR codes. We're gonna learn how to create this amazing project. Let's now open VS Code and start creating this fantastic project from scratch. I have installed a brand new React project on the left side and we can see the repo here that we are going to use. And this is the first repo. If you type React.js QR code repo, that's the first result uh, right here. You click on it and you will see that we will use this one. Uh, we will install this package in a moment. On the other tab, we have the local host running right here. And what we need to do now, we need to install the package. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this react-qr code and I'm gonna open another terminal right here and I'm gonna say ls and I'm gonna cd into my, into my project directory. And then I'm going to say npm install and I'm going to paste this react QR code. Okay. Now this will install the new package and we can immediately see that our package that JSON has been modified. And this is because we have added this new uh, dependency right here. All right. That's uh, cool. Um, now we will start with uh, uh, first thing that we're going to, we're going to remove this. And instead of that, we will return a diff and I will give this diff a class name, uh, class name of uh, container, okay? And we can go to our app CSS and delete everything and start with a star and say box sizing border box, okay? And then we're gonna say container and the container will have a width uh, width of 100%, height of 100VH, um, display will be flex, and we will align items to the center and justify content to the center, okay? Uh, and if we do that now and we refresh, we see nothing yet. Let's go back and add our input right here. So I'm gonna say input, okay? Uh, input of type text okay uh, we will have some value here but for the moment I'm just gonna say placeholder uh, type uh, URL okay now if I save this we can see that our input appeared uh, below the input we will have a button so I'm gonna say button I'm gonna say generate, generate QR code, just like this. And we will see the button right here, but they are next to each other. And we have to do flex direction column and that will position them one below each other. Okay, isn't that cool? Um, what else? So here we're gonna say H1. So I'm gonna type H1. Uh, QR, I'm gonna say React JS QR code generator, and let's place a nice fire emoji right here. So I'm gonna uh, search for fire emoji, and I will copy this emoji from here, and I'm gonna paste it in the heading, just like this. 
Okay, and now see React.js QR code generator because this is fire. You're building fire right now. You're learning how to create a QR code. I thought uh, in the beginning, I was thinking that this is so complicated, but believe me, you're gonna see now that, it, that it's so, so easy. And behind the QR code, it's actually a very easy functionality. Uh, so let's continue now. QR code, now what we need else? Well, after we have uh, installed the package, we will also need to import this QR code component that we are going to use. So I'm gonna paste it right here in the top, okay? And also we will need uh, some use state hook from React. And we're gonna define some states right here. So first of all, I'm gonna say const value and set value that's gonna equal use state and we will start with an empty string and once we are typing we will populate this value with this function which use state is giving us from out of the box and here i'm gonna say value and i'm gonna say value and on change that's gonna be an, a function so we're gonna run a function on every keystroke. We're gonna say set value and we're gonna populate that with the event target value. Just like this. As simple as this. And then we will have a method right here. We're gonna say const generate QR code handler. Okay. And that's gonna be a regular function. And we're gonna hook the button on click. So I'm gonna say on click, generate QR code handler, just like this, okay? Now if I say alert, one, two, three, and we go back to the app and we click the button, we can see that it's working. All right, um, what else we need? We need a state which will determine when to render the QR code. So to do that, I'm gonna say const QR visible set QR visible. And that's gonna be, again, use state and false by default, okay? And right here, we will do the magic. But first, let's finish with styling this. So let's go back right here and uh, give the input a width of 300 pixels, a font, let's say padding maybe 10 pixels, font size of 19 pixels, um, what else? Okay, um, I think that's enough for the button, uh, for the input, so for the button we will do the same width of um 300 pixels a background of background of black a color of white font size let's make it bigger 22 pixels um font weight font weight to be bold let's save okay we can see what we have and also we can give this a padding of 10 pixels everywhere and we can see the button okay it's still saying alert because i haven't saved this file let me save it now if i click it doesn't say alert anymore um let's say also h1 font size I don't know 36 pixels maybe okay it's bigger now um, and also give this button so I'm gonna say margin top of 15 pixels and margin bottom of 50 pixels so I'm giving 50 pixels because below the button we will place the uh, QR code okay and as we are ready with uh, with uh, the styling, maybe we can increase a little bit the width of 
this and width of this. And it's slightly bigger now. Okay. Um, we can go back now. And once we click this, we can generate our QR code. And what are we going to do now? Well, when we click the button, so I'm going to say, um, if we don't have a value, that means that we haven't typed anything, but we still click the button, uh, then I'm going to return. So nothing will happen, but uh, I will otherwise set the QR visible to true. And once we have this as true, we can render is uh, render that down below right here. We can open curly braces and we can say, um, if the QR code is true, if it's visible, then I want a diff or maybe just, okay, let's place a diff also. So diff, okay, and inside this diff, we can also give it a class name of a QR code container. And inside this div, we'll place our QR code from the repo. As you see, it has a couple of props. It has BG color, uh, foreground color, level, size, title, and value. From that, we will, we will just use size and value. But you can play with the others, with the other props, and see what they're doing. So here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy the QR code. And I'm going to place it right here and I'm going to say value and the value of the QR code will be the string that we typed into the field. So that's going to be value and the size uh, for the size, I will give it a size of 300. Okay. And if I save now and go back to the app and I click the button, you see that nothing happens. But as soon as I, uh, I, type okay let's uh let's grab my channel let's grab my channel i'm gonna say youtube um go to my channel and and copy copy this copy that uh just not channel it's kajir media so Kadir Media, my surname, and I click generate QR code and we can see the QR code that appeared down below. And let me show you what happens. If you, you can also try this with your phone. If you open your phone and you, uh, you, scan the you scan it with the camera, then you will see that it gives you a link. If you click on that link, it will open you the respective URL. So as you can see, it opened my channel. Uh, you saw how it worked in the demo part when I uh, showed you my screen recording of the phone. So now I also show you how it works. Um, isn't that amazing? You just built your first QR code with React. You learned how to do it. Um, that's it for today. It's a very short tutorial, but I hope that uh, you managed to grasp that knowledge, you managed to learn uh, some valuable things. Uh, but notice now what happens when you start typing as the value is hooked to this, you can see that the QR code immediately changes. Okay. And this is it. Like the QR codes generally are just strings and they very often represent a URL. And when users scan them, or do anything else with them, they just open something or they just send some data to the back end uh, with the data of that uh, user. Maybe uh, you can have a URL here, which is like uh, uh, something, let's say we have some URL right here and you have slash user ID one and you do something, then this user ID will be sent to the server somehow and that's, and from, from that point uh, further, something will happen on the database and stuff like that. So you can play with this as well. You can uh, probably investigate how you can download this uh, QR code uh, image 
that like a homework for you. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to recommend to friends. If you want to motivate me more, of course, you can become a Patreon. The link is in the video description. Um, and also, I've noticed that uh, some of you, many of you, like 50% of the video watchers are not subscribed. Make yourself a favor and subscribe to the channel because this channel gives you an outcome that uh, you won't find. You will be able to find it other places, but uh, you will learn a lot from me, like, believe me. So do that, make sure you do that. Thank you so much for watching this video again, and I'll see you again in the future.